and here we are. This is the long-awaited World Cup matchup between Poland and USA 1. How do we feel, Elias, about these two teams? I am very hyped about these two teams. I feel like this is going to be a very close matchup. Uh, Rene and Fear are solid as hell. Yagami and Puglin also very solid. It's going to be a good time. Oh yeah, I am. This is going to be awesome. I am so pumped up. I mean, I think that uh, Will Puglin he has some tricks up his sleeve, but. I mean, in general, I would say that Rene and Fear are the, the, the stronger team. Um, they, they just have a lot of experience. Fear plays a lot. Rene has been playing as much, though. So that might be um, might be a little rusty. So we'll see how it goes going into this game. But so excited because there's a lot of creativity uh, within these two teams. Yeah, definitely a lot of cool stuff being planned, specifically from Team Poland. Uh, and we're going to get to see that now. And it's going to be tons of fun oh yeah oh yeah so pumped so hype fortress also absolutely such a cool map uh there's just so many different turns back doors and uh it's it's a tough it's a unique start it's a great thing that puts players kind of off their game because the Build order is just a little bit different you only get four coal piles that are a little bit farther away the expansions yes. are all really far Man, the four cold pile start really messes people up. <laughs> oh yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. I, I've i always said, hey, I'm just going to practice on Fortress. I'm going to get a build order down. I'm going to optimize it. And I never, ever take the time to do it. Yeah, but who wants to do that? <laughs> when you could just play like uh, eroded duos all over again. Yeah. All right. Well, man, I think yeah, uh, it's a very colorful and a very fun map. For so many for some nice tactical... Uh, things you can do on this map yeah we got poland on the right we got usa or poland on the left usa on the right uh here we go so mid obviously extremely strong on this map so we could see some early mid action but it's it can be difficult to hold it's a it's a snowbally map uh if you get mid you can generally generally win the game um yeah but that's not always the case because you can get attacked from all four sides and you have to, um, you know, your henchmen are just going to be under attack. So you don't have safe income. You lose mid, then it's going to turn very quickly against you. High risk, high reward. Yeah. One thing about having the expos on your own separate island is that you're much safer. You have much more spread out vision. Yeah. Oh, going well, for the early mid it leaves you vulnerable uh, in informational terms. You can't see more anything. Oh, it looks like Fear the Beast is getting backdoored potentially by Puglin here. Uh, yeah, Henchman's stopping, so that I think he's gonna maybe put down a chamber or what is he? Yeah, chamber oh, yeah. going down in the back of Fear the Beast base. <laughs> this is gonna be scary. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it's happening. Oh, uh, I just I love to see rushes. It's so fun. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, these are tough rushes to respond to because you have less henchmen at your base, you're going to have less coal, but also at the same time, it's harder to submit a rush on this map. Puglin's not going level 2. Uh, you got me. Gonna... Is he? I feel like he's going to get spotted oh, yeah. very late. Oh, yeah, very is late he? Oh, my he's... oh my god. Yeah, he got spotted. He got spotted. Oh, he got spotted. No, oh, keep building. Keep building. No, he's, he's uh... done. Renee's got it. Uh, Will is but, building an other chamber. Oh, Yagami's chamber also. That could have just been a dis diversion tactic. Maybe. Oh, he's building Yagami's chamber up there. Yeah. With the... Ah, damn. Here, the... Here he comes, the... Oh, he's been seen. He's been seen. Oh, that fan's not going to do anything. No, fix the chamber. You got this. You got this. It's not... Yeah. Yeah. Good call, oh, good he needs to build... He needs to build stuff at his lab. Uh-oh. 14 with barrier destroy. That's a very nice He's gazelle. only able to get three units out, though. He like These henchmen are going to be able to defend. Uh, now I'd like to see Rene put in some more... Ooh, wow. Well-placed fences by Fear the Beast. And Hench oh Punch God. is working super well right now. Taking out yeah. these camels, but... Uh, and some overpop coming in. I think he's going to be able to defend this rush. Overpop skunk. Yes, Yagami. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But I mean, oh, these lemmings are going to take care of everything, and no problem, I think. I 
These Panther yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. Very good defense. Yeah, really, really strong. Uh, play fear by Fear of the Beast. Fear just needs to keep it up uh, and take care of these ranged units right away. Oh, this is still a tough double. Man, Fear only got five henchmen mining on the uh, expo right now. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's going to be hard to keep up production. They're just trickling in right now. Yeah. And this is looking very solid for Team Pollen. Very nice coordinated rush. Yeah, and Renee and is... Diversion. Diversion chamber. How cool is that? Yeah, that was really, really cool. Uh, these Ugulas are going to be able to come in from Renee and hopefully save Fear. But, he, like, Renee needs to mask these up a pretty good number. And Fear, I think, yeah. just needs to abandon the lab temporarily while they mass up units. And then yeah, I, I think, think, yeah, yeah, we need some distractions coming in too. We need some raiding going on as well, uh, just to take micro attention away from uh, the, this, this assault. Oh, uh, Renee is sending in some Ooks into the ice base of Puglin. Absolutely perfect. Mm. And even though Puglin sees it, yeah, he doesn't really have any defenses at home. These are just going to walk straight up to the henchmen here and start to take him out. And it looks like. Fear is being successfully defended by all these Ugulas. It was the right decision yes. to mass up units uh, before going in and, and um, attacking. Well done. Oh, well this done. Really, really strong play by Rene. Great target acquisition. Uh, Soundbeam Tower going up at home by Puglin. Uh, but he's getting distracted by, by these Ugulas for sure. I don't know if he actually ended up losing any henchmen, though. Um, one. The one henchman. <laughs> yeah, and I think that hopefully Renee will go around and see Puglin's... Oh, wow, this big attack on this expo. Puglin is in dire straits all of a sudden. Uh, wow. Yeah, big attack on this expo up here, but then also if Renee just comes around and finds the expo on Fear's Island, then that's not going to be good at all. What? USA and Renee specifically is flipping this game on its head. Yeah, Puglin what just going level 3, job. though. Oh, That's Renee going around the wrong thing. way. Not going to see Puglin's workshop right here, which is going to be bad. That's going to hurt. Uh, if he's able to get up any defenses or... Uh, sorry, creature chamber. Yagami just messaged going three. Hmm. Yeah, he is... Okay, 40% there. What's Will producing right now to defend? At least Ugulas, it's just critical mass of Ugulas, 17 damage level 2, so they're going to do so much work. Yeah, oh my gosh, and in the meantime, Renee's been pretty untouched inside of her base, looking really, really strong. Puglin does have this chamber uh, in the back of Fear's base, and the Yagami's keeping up pressure as well with this uh, Vulture camel, but yeah. all these Ugulas just coming straight for the neck. Um, yeah. If he can get enough hell boys, he can defend this, the ram uh, alligator. If he can get enough, but I mean, there's just so many units coming in. They need to come in right now. Uh, but they're, they're doing a good job in scouting out his other expansions. Not going to find anything there, however. Holy moly. Let's. I wonder what the Puglin's going to do with that chamber. I, I mean, is... he's just too busy to counterattack right now. He has yeah. to defend himself. Yeah, and is Renee looking at a level 3 yet? Uh, oh, Renee's already level 3. Has these Dragonfly Pythons. Oh, 33 damage. Beautiful unit. Oh, I, yeah. I believe that's going to get uh, mowed down by these uh, Lion Eiders, though. Yeah. Man, and... Yagami needs to protect Will. Oh, he has the chamber in his base. Uh, that's right. Yeah, Good yeah. Call. Two chambers. So quite a few chambers. I think they're going to be able to defend, but Will doesn't have that much economy. He is trying to build a few units in the back of Fear's base, but Fear does have a couple deflect units. Fear's going level 3 as, all, as well. It's going to give him lab defense. Um, and we'll see what he brings at level 3. This attack is going to be fended off at Puglin's base. You got me going in for a strong counter attack into Renee's base with all of these spiders. Very well done, Yagami. That's what you need right now. Yeah, we'll see what Renee has. I think she needs to... Uh, lay pressure off Puglin and just take care of things at home because Puglin is going to take a while to recover. Um, and so I think she can make sure that she's safe and try to maintain their lead. Puglin does have another mm -hmm. workshop up here. In Fear he has two workshops in Fear's base. Oh, Fear the Beast coming off with the Ostrich Shield Bug. It's immune, so it's going to counter the Spider Lion. It's real good. Yeah, but he's getting raided at his lab, which is not going to be good. He needs... He's... Oh. 
This is going to be tough. Uh, fear is not the one that needs to be spread thin right now. Yeah, Willis done such a good job expanding into two expos in fear mm -hmm. on Fear the Beast's island. Wow, that deflects. He like deflected like three hits all at once. What good RNG coming in from Fear the Beast. And he's going to need to mass up more of these ostriches, but they should match up well against these cuttlefish. Yeah, uh, I think they're going to win that. I yeah, think they're going to win oh, that. Oh, Renee's lab is uh, getting raided, but I think these, yeah, these ostriches are going to take it. No problem. What a great yeah. matchup against these spitting spiders. Uh, good unit matchup. In the meantime, Fear has started to take mid, but he is getting attacked down south. A lot of cuttlefish in his lab, uh, in his expos. He's just getting taken out. Uh, and Man. he's just had such a rough game. He needs to uh, protect his lab. He's it's on low health. Uh, hopefully, he notices and puts on lab defense. He's level three now. I think yeah, he'll notice. There's lab defense. With the level twos. He's using the level twos and not level threes. Yeah, I don't know if he can afford the level threes. He has. He doesn't uh, have a whole lot. That may be right. That well, I mean, he has right. so many expos now um, that just haven't been scouted out by fear, which is not good. Fear needs to take out these expos, take his island back. And I think he should notice that there's got to be a chamber behind his base, right? Where are these units coming from? And that'll help him scout out at least one of these expos. Yeah, and now Rene serving the same uh, thing oh, to Yagami here. Yeah, this ostrich lemming. Oh my gosh, <laughs> they are just prancing in. Oh, they are such a lovely walk in running animation, <laughs> man. Oh, it's wow. beautiful. Absolutely love that. This is going to be great distraction tactics. Fear coming down to this expo finally. Uh, what I'd really like to see Puglin do is take advantage of this expo top right of the island and uh, uh, do something with it by building creature chambers. There's all these uh, henchmen that Renee has floating in the water as well that could be used to capitalize on something. You got me yeah. trapping some of his own henchmen within his rod and a soundbeam tower formation. That's not going to be good for his economy. Oh man, this game is so back and forth. <laughs> I know, what a game. And Renee coming in with the alligator. Yes, the immune cuttlefish are going to be so good at matching up against these spiders. Wow, that's the perfect ranged counter right there. Yeah, uh, and just more getting masked up. This is going to be really, really nice, especially combined with those ostriches. Uh, but there are flyers. Puglin has these flyers, which are pretty decent. They're spammy, uh, do 11 damage, half pack hunter. So we're just going to need to see yeah. more of these towers come out against them uh, because these melee obviously can't attack the flyers. But Renee having a tough time actually breaking in to uh, Yagami's base uh, through the fronts, but not, not through the back. It's wide open through the back. And uh, Yagami now asking for help, asked for a CC in the base. Three henchmen building this creature chamber. But ooh. It is. Oh, man. Yeah. Chamber going up. I think Will needs to send flyers into the base, um, but more pressure being put on the front here and Fear the Beast finally yeah. finding that workshop over the far right. Um, Pucklin yeah, and Renee's henchmen all having a swimming party, uh, dip, taking a dip together on the on the right side of the map. Yeah, they're just chilling in all the chaos. Yeah. Man. Yeah, this game has been so back and forth. Okay, so Fear now has his entire island back. Fantastic job. And now they're just pushing against Pollen. Yeah, yeah. Now they're just putting a lot of pressure on Yagami, who doesn't have a whole lot in terms of income. Will has taken a lot of his island um, and should have a, a pretty good amount of floating resources. Here and comes the level four Polar Bears, but I, I it's... They're not going to do enough of a good job right now. It's just too much mass from Rene. Yeah. Oh, man. This is going to be a tough battle. Um, I mean, gosh, Rene is doing such a good job of just keeping on the constant pressure from both sides. Fear the Beast now coming in with all of these ostriches is just going to disassemble Puglin because uh, there's no defenses at home. Not really anything that can take on these ostrich shield bugs. Indeed. Yeah, he just has so many of them, and they're going to walk right up to his base and cause some trouble up there. I mean, he needs to mass flyers. Uh, he needs just a ton of flyers right now. Uh, there he goes. He's producing them. It's very smart. Yeah. Uh, but just not fast enough. And they only do 11 damage, so... Uh, it, it, these are going to do quite a bit of damage to Will's base. They, they're going to take out... These ostriches are going to take out all the henchmen. 
Uh, take out a few rods without any issues. And Renee's yeah, only macro. pressure is only being put on Pollen. No pressure on USA. It, mm -hmm. it, this is their game right now. They are steering this ship. Yeah, I mean, I mean Renee's been untouched. Just hit level four, and uh, uh, building some anti-air at her lab, which is a smart move because a flyer rush uh, from Will, if he's able to mass these flyers, is going to be really, really strong. Oh, but look, he lost all of his henchmen at his lab. Will lost everything at his lab. Wow. So that attack was more successful than I thought it would be. Oh, wow, they did such a good job, actually. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, and the pressure just keeps coming. Fear the Beast yeah. starting level 4. Yagami not looking at it. Puglin not looking at it. So this is going to be a USA game with these uh, killer whale gazelles. Absolutely love these guys. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of damage coming down on these uh, polar bear snails. Yeah, these polar bear snails are just going to slow them down, but that's it. They're just going to get... Oh, yeah, they're getting shredded. And these Ooh. soundbeam towers, what a strong attack by Renee. Wow. Renee has been so good this game. Yeah. And she saved her teammate, and she aggressed at the same time, really turning the tide. Yeah, Fantastic yeah. Fantastic job. Oh, and Yagami, uh, he's, he's apologizing in the team chat, which is... Uh, oh, yeah, you don't need to apologize, my man. You yeah. did well. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's tough. Right? I mean, Renee just played so well with his backdoor attack uh, and defending against that rush. It's so hard overextending against the rush. Um, yeah, it's just Jagami didn't have his uh, island fully stacked. Yeah. Uh, so he missed out on a lot of resources this game. And, I mean, a great job by Fear the Beast, who saw the chamber, right? And so that chamber, however Fear saw it, maybe it was within the lab's vision, actually. So it could have been Yagami just placing it a tiny bit too close. Um, but Fear saw the chamber, was able to scout it out and get a defense up. Because if, um, you know, Puglin and Yagami would have had critical mass without Fear seeing it, then he would have been gone. I mean, that was so close, right? <laughs> yeah. Man, we saw the exact same mistake from Black Tiger 3 the other day. He was going to rush, and they saw the chamber, and it all collapsed on them. Yeah, yeah, and so that, that just shows how scouting is really important. Uh, placing a scouting rod is a really good way on that map. Put, put in a lightning rod somewhere behind your base where you think a chamber could go. A great way to get a heads up on any of that activity. And the score tells the story. Renee doing a fantastic job this game. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's dragon pythons damage to structures. Wow. Um, absolutely awesome, awesome game. So back and forth. Like I didn't know what was gonna happen. I, mean, I, I thought fear yeah. was out. Yeah, I thought so too, but it came back strong. Yeah. Did mate? Oh, did he get donated to? Perhaps. Uh, fear. Yeah. I don't see any coal donated, electricity donated. Okay, because it was just such a... It felt like a sudden strong return. Yeah, he just played very well. Good job, Team USA 1. Yeah, great job. So it's going to be Poland's counter pick now. Uh, they, they tried to go in with that cheeky double rush, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. Those, those naked mole rats... Uh, gazelles were a little underwhelming, I thought. I thought that they could have been better in mass, but they just had a hard time against those henchmen. They Fear just p kind of punched them out. Yeah, glassy, very glassy. So they're fast. That's where the price comes from. But the chamber was so close. I'd rather have a you know tank, more tanky unit in that situation. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to see a counter pick. Uh, is it going to be like a crat? Like, I don't even know. What What do you think is going to suit Poland on this? Do you think it's going to be something where they're close together? Man, I think we're going to see a eroded duos. And, uh, you know, if my dreams are allowed to come true, I'd love to see the level one rush. <laughs> oh my gosh, the level one rush on a ro uh, the, with the range units. Oh, those yeah, are so good. Yeah, the level one rush. Uh... Because last time they got tasty snacked. <laughs> I you know, I feel like if a roaded duos happens, then I would bring big strong muscles default army just <laughs> and bring tasty snack just because. But it looks like we have a plateau game. 
Oh, okay, yeah, this is a good map for Yagami. He pl he, uh, he has a good record on this map. Yeah, he's comfortable on this map, so it makes sense. Yeah, and uh, let's see. Rene and F Fear the Beast, they played on this map previously, right? Who did they play against, uh, I think? They played against the me and Toast on this map. Ah, all right. Oh, uh, looks like uh, Yagami P waited. So one thing about um, when you play on internet TCP over zero tier is that you cannot hit tab. If you hit tab, then uh, there's a little bug that will cause you to cause your game to crash. So that's that's yeah. what I do. I sometimes I try to alt tab, but if I don't hold down alt very firmly, then it, I will end up causing my game to error. Yeah, that's just the classic move right there. <laughs> yeah, it happens to me all the time. Well, yeah, I think this is going to be a pretty interesting map. Uh, we might see some Joseph fences. I haven't seen a Joseph fence in a minute. Um, I would love to see that, just like six fences all stacked on top of each other. <laughs> but I, I gotta anyway. say, I think this game is probably going to go to USA again. Um, I I yeah I remember they double rushed us and I think that's what what they're gonna try here. The thing is about it is I feel like they practiced on this map quite a lot, and so yeah. this being a counter pick isn't gonna be super strong. Oh, uh, actually, I zero pinged. Okay, I'm gonna. How oh, are you out. and Yaga be having? Uh... Maybe, maybe. So I'll uh, wait for Yagami to join, and then you can you can let me know when to come in. You can come in. You can come in. All right. I recognize that Orman name. Oh, now he's walked it. Ah, oh, what is this? <laughs> what? It's cursed. Oh no! <laughs> Been kicked mm. out. Should I? Uh, you can hop in on the stream, and we can do it that way. And just I'll, get the game going. I'll try one more time. Yes. Yeah. Normally, this isn't an issue. We'll see. Usually, just like it just takes a few times to come in. Whoopsies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now you can join. Okay. <laughs> Session is full. Oh. It's closed. Okay, last try. Crossing my fingers. Let's work. Let's do this. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't join now. Don't join now. Okay. We're waiting for Yagami and Fear. Yeah, what a strong performance from Renee. I was unsure how she would do because she hasn't been playing too much recently, but I mean, just obvious MVP in that game. Yeah, maybe the break was what she needed. You know, just yeah. come back strong. Yeah, oh my gosh. This yeah, all went man. full Super Saiyan. Definitely carry that game hard with those amazing old Pistol Tarantulas. So yeah. much damage in those ones. So hopefully she didn't use all of her mana during that game, and we'll be able to uh, to keep it strong through this next one. Yeah, she'll have to use her rejuvenation potion. Yes. <laughs> okay, now we're waiting for fear. Now you can hop in. All right, fingers crossed. Aha! Oh I'm in. yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Maybe I should tab right now just to drop and then <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> oh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Alright. Let's go. Game two. On plateau. Yeah, so okay, Yagami. I feel like he's gonna rush. He's gonna rush. That's oh my gosh. Happen. Oh, yeah, I got to be waited again. <laughs> Damn. He pressed tab. <laughs> he forgets. Oh, no. I wonder if I should.
All right, I'm fine. There we go. Um. <laughs> All right, this is about to be a spicy Polish meatball. <laughs> no. <laughs> what do they eat over there except children? Uh, <laughs> man, I think. Uh, okay, so what we're going to see is Double Rush from USA. Puglin is going to play it safe, uh, do the slow game. Yagami is going to rush. I Puglin's going to play a slow game? Really? I, I believe so. All right. Or maybe that's very out of character. <laughs> So, uh, Puglin typing in the team chat, I don't know if I remember the build, but <laughs> cracks knuckles. Let's see if I do. Man, okay, so they have something planned. They have something up their sleeves. <laughs> and we have uh, the first game going to USA. So Poland's going to have to pull something out or else they're going to be out of the tournament. Yeah. This is the longest one hour set for two games ever. <laughs> Alright, here we go. We got Poland on the left and early rod coming out from Puglin. Okay, interesting. Yeah, USA Will on the right. We see a second rod. Would we see a second You know, I'm sure eventually we'll see a second rod. Advanced structures. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a uh, gyro drop loner rush. Yes, and Jagami is going to donate, I, I bet. Uh, uh, I don't know. Oh yes, make it happen. And, and this is gonna be against Renee as well, so <laughs> Can someone uh, stream please? Oh, am I not streaming? I'm... Elias. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Guys. Okay, but here we have the landing pad coming out. Oh, oh yeah, this is and this is gonna be against Renee. Renee being the powerhouse of last game. Gonna be taken off guard. I wonder how she will react uh to this strategy. We're gonna see you know, I'm expecting... Beer taking the island. Yep, beer taking the island. And Yagami... I don't think this is going to be a donation strat. I think this is going to be just a one-off. Um, yeah. But they're going to need Hench Heal as well. So I would expect to see a clinic coming up soon. Yagami saying he's going level 2. Okay. He's not... Well, look at Yagami's henchman. He must have donated some. Because it's not so well stacked for this time. You know, that's that's true. That That is true. He is a little bit behind. And it looks like... not. Here that... comes the dry. Here comes the copter. <laughs> oh, but Renee... Oh, Renee scouted up there? Did you see that? I have no Renee's idea. Renee's hench kind of went up a little bit and... I bet they could have oh, are they gonna, seen they're... Oh, I don't think they're going to see that. Oh my god, Will. And he's fencing himself in. Wait. Oh, this is brilliant. Did Renee blow a rod at her base? I did. I don't know. Oh, and this is Yagami's chamber. Oh my God! It's a cheat. What? What? It's oh, just a cheetah, cheetah scorp. scorp. Rush. <laughs> oh wow! Gyro cheetah scorp. Oh my gosh! And these are gonna be able to build a workshop back here. Renee's what? got nothing. I feel like <gasps> what? I feel like this is such a silly way to cheetah scorp rush. Yeah, I mean, just run <laughs> over. Oh, and Man, these chameleons, okay. uh, piranhas coming out from Renee. Oh my god, it's the it's the unit from Kaseva. Yeah. <laughs> and she's opting to look like it keep the pressure on Will. Now running into this fence, though. And Fear the Beast has a chamber coming up at Renee's base. Renee needs to punch back with these henchmen. Oh, please, please punch back with these henchmen. They're just getting eaten oh. up. Man, okay. F uh, Fear the Beast is very well established oh, on the island right now. Yeah. I think he can do something sick here. Bring yeah. it all back. Oh, and Renee just opting to keep the pressure on at Puglin's lab. Puglin now going level two, so he doesn't have anything to defend at home. This is going to be I a base think, race. Yeah, I, th I think that that is a good idea from Renee. It's just that Yagami has the barrier to destroy. He yeah. has the advantage. Yeah, he does. Um, like, what are these chameleons oh, going to do? Well, Yagami's in trouble, though, so... Oh my gosh, this is like a double base race. Lobster lemming, love to see that. Yeah. yeah and I'm then Renee coming into repair. Oh, 
This might be it. This might be it. <gasps> oh, the henchmen oh, couldn't get around the cheetah scorps, and that's it for Renee. Oh, they're gonna run all the way to fear now. They're gonna run to fear. He oh my nothing. gosh. Yeah, he, he has he has these fences, but he needs to build sound beams. Sound beams are going up, and Renee is allowed to talk to Fear uh, in their voice chat to say what's going on. So he should be able to see where these are going ahead of time. Uh, and and oh my gosh, Yagami has nothing. Yeah, man. Yagami's lab uh, is going down. Yeah. Oh, the clutch repair. The clutch repair. Oh yeah. He's gonna okay. He's gonna oh. live a little longer with that repair. Yeah, these turtles are coming in slowly, and it looks like the repair is working. Yagami's Gyroscorps are just standing there wondering what they're supposed to do now. I mean, the Soundbeam Tower is over a fence. They are really confused. <laughs> yeah. These henchmen are doing a good job uh, punching, and they can get behind. Oh, the base is gone! He's dead. He's dead. The base is gone. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a 1v1. The oh my gosh, have we had one of these yet? No, no, we have <gasps> not. Oh my gosh, I love Plateau. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh man. And all these units will need to defend against these. Oh my gosh. He has nothing and he he's he's trying to do good macro. He's going with his gyrocopter to take the uh the, the geysers and stuff, but I mean fear has just so many units. Yeah, that's a lot of mass coming in Puglin's way. He is research researching three. Yeah, oh uh, this <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And, and, and the, the lemmings cower in fear. <laughs> yeah, they can't beat that. Look at it. <laughs> what a beautiful unit! <laughs> oh my gosh! And these towers are melting these lemmings. This Man, is gonna be a the successful defense. Are so slow. Yeah, these towers are absolutely melting these lemmings. And so, if these towers can focus the lemmings before the chameleons, that's gonna be really good micro. Uh, and the yeah. uh, water chamber coming up. There's some action at the top. Uh, Sphere of the Beast looking at three. Uh, I don't know if he is. But Puglin's at three, so that's going to be kind of scary. This actually... Oh, I think this is... Yeah, yeah these uh, oh, Ryans, this Rhino Alligator is going to be pretty strong. Fear doesn't have yeah. anything to take these on. Will building a chamber to the right island also? Oh, yeah. Oh, the map control is looking really, really good uh, for Puglin right now. And he has his gyrocopter that can take the cliffs. Um, yeah, I mean, that's only snail 22. play. <laughs> the snail play, just spawning those snails. Oh that my god, so what? This chamber just went up inside of Puglin's base. <laughs> and there's that's a single henchman that's not being attacked right here. Oh, there it goes. I feel like Ryan is just a worse Hellboy, no? <laughs> Maybe. Ryan's pretty. I like Ryan a, a lot. A little biased yeah, because he was my World Cup partner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I understand that. Uh, no, Fear the Beast no is now going to be level 3 and is building a clinic, getting getting his feet under him. But this is going to be a pretty extended 1v1. Oh, I am so excited. Ryan coming out here. Uh, Puglin do... has the elec, but the Fear has the coal. Yeah. I mean, I don't even know. I think Puglin is superior even on the coal right now. Maybe one. He's got two, this island down three. south. At least he will be soon. And Fear's still playing catch up a little bit. Yeah, these Ryan's gonna do a whole lot of hurt in this expo. Yeah. No sound beams either. Fear yeah, getting wow. yoke. That's gonna be really, really good. And it looks like Puglin is not looking at yoke yet. I don't see Man, a clinic. Puglin. Puglin has all the cliff geysers though. That's yeah. huge. Yeah, I mean, it, he can solidify his lead right now with the clinic and getting the electric upgrade. Yeah, he needs the clinic real bad. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, then, his lead is gonna drop. And fear needs a gyro. Uh, and needs to and needs to get the elect production because the, he the this is gonna snowball otherwise. Man. Okay, so both players are just content with uh, establishing it on the islands and such right now. Yeah. And flyers coming out. Does Fear the Beast have any defenses at home? Oh no. There's it's no anti air tower. Oh, it's the Yagami unit. It's so good. Defy land. Yeah, he's going to do a whole lot of hurt on, in his base with that one. 
Oh. That's going to be so annoying to deal with. Yeah. Oh, and there's more coming into base. A lot of units coming into base. This is going to be really tough for Fear. Uh, there's the just the immune defile combo is going to be tough. And I don't know why. Maybe they're not communicating. Um, because yeah. you'd think that Renee would tell Fear that there's flyers. Yeah. Maybe they think they're not allowed to. Yeah. And here comes the defile. That sucks for Fear the Beast. Yeah. And here comes the Ryan. Yeah. Damn. That's tilting. Very tilting. Yeah, this is going to be really, really tough. And there's just a lot of melee units that Fear's been building. But he has flyers of his own. These Snowy Owl Octopuses. Which are going to be very, very strong. And I think they're going to be able to take out these flyers. No problem. He um, still has the uh, uh, research clinic advantage with the better henchmen. Yeah. He, oh, yeah. he's raiding. He's raiding the geysers now. Yeah, that's really, really strong. Fantastic. And just let, yeah, letting the, the one anti-air tower take out all of these uh, pretty weak snakes. Snake bats is going to be... All right, it's going to work. Yeah. Okay, very nice air raids on these chambers. Yeah, but pressure just keep coming in from Puglin, uh, who's got to be looking at level 4. Yeah, he's halfway yeah. to level 4 right now. Uh, Fear's just playing catch up. He's gonna need to do some raiding and aggression of his own. Um, and I want to see that gyro pad come up from Fear the Beast because he needs to take these geysers now that he's destroyed them. Man, spicy dinosaur coming in for some raid, destroying these guys. That's real good. Oh, but they're gonna get surrounded by snakes. Will he get the guys though? That's the hero play. Come on, spicy dinosaur, make it happen. No. Oh, <laughs> close, but no cigar. These snakes are gonna take out these alligators. Man, Will is gonna. Ha he has to deal with these flyers from fear. And there's level he four. Needs to prepare. So fear is halfway to level four. A little bit of lag coming in. Uh, but yeah, these flyers are doing really, really well. Puglin now coming up with anti-air towers. This no is a close game. Upgrades. No hench upgrades from Puglin. That's huge for Fear. Oh, the, the, he does have a clinic, though. The clinic is up. But Fear's going to roll, you know, run away with this if uh, no hench upgrades. And Fear is getting a gyro pad as well. And he's about to hit four. He's about to hit four. Yeah. Man, okay. This game is so close. I know. I have no idea who's gonna win. This is uh, this is neck and neck. Uh, yeah. Map control wise, they're they're equal. They're dead even, and it's just no one has taken mid though. Man, Will needs these henchmen upgrades. He's gonna lose. He needs to get them real quick. Yeah, I think he's just forgotten about them. Yeah, and these snakes are just dying to two two anti air towers right now. Yeah, I mean, there. Oh, and here comes the eel hippos. Those are going to be so strong. Yeah, the cheapest ranged hippo. Very good unit. But these, uh, these snakes, these python baboons, are just coming in and doing so much damage. Uh, Will's trying to create flyers that are doing some poison and attacking, but I mean, that's just not going to be a lot. There, He's going to be able to get a lot of them, but not without damage being done first. I'd love to see Fear take out some of these henchmen, um, knowing that these pythons are really going to die. But coming into the lab now are these yeah. hippos. Will's units upgraded. are more expensive. They're more expensive, but it doesn't have the henchmen research. He's just, yeah. Yeah. It's the resource advantage. Yeah, that's it's not good. And Fear is now getting the geysers. He's just, I mean, he's playing a really, really clean game. Uh, you know, making sure he has all of his checks and um, being very, very disciplined. Yeah, very patient. Uh, yeah, well done by Fear the Beast. Definitely. Wow, they traded. They traded allies. Still, that's still, that's still incredible. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Man. Yeah. And it yeah, looks like he's Will. calling in the towel. Yeah. The question to the answer to that question is simply the henchman research. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I mean, it, if he would have gotten that clinic up earlier, then he would have won, I think.
He had more map control. Um, he had more unit presence. He was ahead. Wow. Oh, man. Clean game by Fear the Beast. Yeah, Just really, really patient. strong. His ally was getting rushed, but he opted to patiently set up on the island and do the slow game. The counter rush. I mean, it was the counter rush because he was able to take out Yagami um, shortly after Rene was taken out, and that made it the 1v1. And so, yeah. really, really nice. And uh, just being disciplined, getting the resources. Really, really strong play. Phenomenal wow! Play I mean, look at the look at the coal gathered. Look how look how much of a disparity is between coal and electricity gathered between Fear the Beast and Puglin, uh, when yeah. it really should not have been that way, right? Because Puglin had Renee's base. Yeah. Man, and it's just because it's just, of the upgrades. Yeah, this shows how important it is to get those upgrades in time. Yeah. Hey. Hey, oh, and here is Poland in the chat. How are you guys feeling? Oh man, that's so funny. Uh, I'm gonna get America into here before I talk about game one because I think Elias might have mentioned it went <laughs> so bad in the wrong way. Okay, okay, okay. America's here now. Okay, so game one. <laughs> what we were supposed to do, the plan there, and we've been drilling this and practicing it with Sweden is the plan was those chambers that I was placing in um, Fear's base, I think it was Fear's base, yes. uh, yep. were decoys, right? The plan was that we would place them there and freak you guys out and get you to commit resources to defending there, but Yagami would set up two creature chambers in the other person's base and we would actually rush them. And it works really well, except Yagami got spotted putting up his chambers. Yeah. So instead of doing what we wanted to do, we suddenly had to try and switch it around to attack. I mean, uh, I I was so useless that game because I had I had no rods, no coal. I just it took me forever to get back, and then finally, you know, I got enough eco to hit forward and spit out the uh, dew drops. But I mean, that was tough. It was tough. Cool, I was oh, useless dude. in the in the last game. Oh my god, dude! I had the whole world. I had all the geysers, but I just choked so hard. I, I had Man. a lot too. I had a lot of resources as well. Uh -oh. The key difference was the henchman upgrade. You didn't, you didn't have it in time. Yeah, you never. Yeah, had I took it. ages to get it. Ages to get it. And, I got it in the end, I think. When you look at the resource tab, it's just it's so unequal. Both luck and uh, coal fear had so much more, and it's because he got the clinic up way, way, way earlier than you did, and got those upgrades. I like, can't believe... What? Got the upgrades, yeah. I mean, that's... Yeah. I felt I felt like, okay, I'll get it eventually, but right now I'll just focus on getting the geysers. Um, yeah. And I just forgot to get it in the end. And yeah. I can't believe... I'm looking at the resources tab now. I can't believe you beat me by that much. On I mean, resources. I had six geysers. So I had four water geysers, right? And then I had the two... My base and then... You got me space. Yeah, I guess, I, guess was, I just thought I had more than I did. I think we, I was very top left heavy and you were bottom right heavy. And once I took out your geysers too, with the my air, that made a big difference. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. That, was, that was incredible. You started on me That's so great. hard in that game. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that, that was, uh, we haven't seen a base trade like that yet with allies. And so that was so hype when that happened. <laughs> Uh, game one also so hype with the uh, back door that Renee did to Yagami. With those ostrich lemmings? Oh my god, I know. It was so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rene was a powerhouse that game. Yeah, yeah Rene really did that, but then, then Fear pulled his weight in the second game. And I'm just so bummed that, that always when you practice a strategy like that and it doesn't work, it's like, oh fuck. That was the one chance to try that and it fell through, unfortunately. Oh, I mean, it was Go good slow. scouting by Rene. Yeah, I mean. Well, that's the issue. So we've been backdoored. Specifically, Renee has been backdoored on that map <laughs> over and over again. Right. So it was, it was definitely something we were watching out for. Well, I was uh, hoping, I was planning to spawn next to Renee and fake her out, but that's just not how you guys joined the lobby, so we couldn't mm -hmm. do it like that. Yeah, um, oh, I see. Yeah. But that also, was. And I, was, I was supposed to go from the water, not from the land, but just before the game, William said. Hey, go from the land, it will be faster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I just get it really faster. And she spotted me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you know, say la vie, those were a lot of fun. Um, yeah, that was yeah, great. It was really, really, it I'm was excited really to watch that last replay and see exactly how styled on I got because it felt so bad. <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, I, 
I was floating a lot of resources there at the end. I think I think I just had more more coal piles and more upgrades. That's really what it came down to. I don't no, think you had the you same really well. coal piles. You had the same coal piles, yeah. but you yeah. had the upgrades. I just had the upgrades. About the yeah. upgrade, yes. <sighs> Oof. Well, that, that's always what gets me it gets me again. So congratulations, you guys. You absolutely deserve Thank it. Thank you. Well, very great, great, yeah. great game. Great it's game. so sad to see Poland go, but uh, I mean, well deserved by USA with that victory. Absolutely. So you guys are gonna um, be playing France too next. Yeah, that sounds like it. Scary. <laughs> who, uh, I forget who's on that team. Is that Cosmo and Freeman? Yeah. It is. It is. Yes. Yeah, they yeah. are scary. They just it's the best of France. Yeah. So, uh, best of luck to you guys. Thank you. Uh, great and, games. Uh, I would just like to say thank you so much to Yagami for being a fantastic teammate and putting up with all the really dumb shit I wanted to do this <laughs> time. <laughs> Agreeing yeah, to be a level one. It was, it was really fun to play. Yeah, thank you for joining. It's been great having you. It's always a pleasure to have you know new players that we haven't seen as much in the online community step up and join the tournament, uh, get in some YouTube videos, and it's so cool to see and you had some awesome units that with the defile you have a lot of defi oh, spam defile God. is like you got me this thing. is my best unit i have it's ever so good <laughs> i stole it off him for that last time i, I have so ever much. made yeah the yeah. most annoying unit possible <laughs> i i agree i agree <laughs> The Yagami ratio. That, that's so <laughs> yeah, man. It's gonna be such a shame to see Poland gone. But well played, USA one. Yeah. Thank you. Very nice set of games. Yeah, looking forward to more games from you guys. Um, well, congratulations, and I'll stop the stream here. Thank you guys at home for watching.